Uh, one of the things that, that stands out to me is that people often um, lift up the resistance that they experience um, in their relationship or even in their personal life. And so whether we're, stri we're striving to overcome um, infidelity, we're striving to connect in more, we're striving to experience more intimacy, we're striving to communicate better, we're stri striving to um, really sidestep or at least be able to sift through and navigate conflict, um, you know, people speak to the fact that there is a certain level of resistance that's present um, in that experience. And as a result, sometimes people are shutting down. Sometimes people are, um, you know, exacerbating the resistance by fighting. Uh, sometimes people are freezing and doing nothing, which is that whole shutdown piece. And then sometimes people are running away uh, from, the, from the experience. And so, um, you know, here's the thing, y'all. You know, when it comes to resistance, like resistance is um, a necessary component to developing strength. It's like if, if, if everything is easy peasy, if everything is peaches and cream, um, and you encounter no resistance, you develop no muscle. And, and when it comes to your relationship, like, or even in your personal life, we're all attempting to, to be better. And if you're not, then you need to examine why. Examine why you're not attempting to, to be better, to have more, to do more. Um, and a part of that is just, you know, actually recognizing that I want to appreciate and, and, um, and not only recognize and appreciate where I am, but really understand that, like, you know, I'm not destined to just only be where I am. Like, I'm going to see tomorrow for another reason. I'm going to see later on today for another reason. And so there's a greater purpose to my life than just this particular moment right here. And so if that's the case, what's been expected of me to get to this point right here it's not the same thing that's expected of me to exist in that point, in that place tomorrow. And so when it comes to this resistance that we face, the key point that I want y'all to pay attention to is that in the midst of the resistance, while you recognize it, and um, hopefully you'll develop a different level of appreciation for it, the thing that I want you to pay attention to is that there's still responsibility in the midst of the resistance. Again, just because there's resistance, it doesn't mean that you need to. It doesn't mean that you need to um, um, negate, avoid, run away, put down your responsibility. It doesn't. Um, and and far too often, we have this tendency that when you know resistance comes, it's like we throw up our hands and and um, we fail to maintain some sense of responsibility to the people, to the person or to the thing, the entity, the institution that may be your relationship, your marriage, your family, whatever it is, we, um, you know, we shy away from that responsibility. And so again, I want to normalize the fact that in order for you to, to grow, resistance will be present. But in order for you to, to stand in the next level, in that next space, not only do you recognize the resistance, but you also honor your responsibility. It's when you honor your responsibility and you stand on that, that, um, that you develop the strength um, and it becomes a part of who you are and, and you know you just are able to really embrace and fully appreciate the next level so again recognize that the resistance will be present don't run away from it see it embrace it deal with it but also more importantly honor your responsibility to yourself to your queen to your king and to your family that's when we'll all go to the next level